Hey guys, uh, welcome back for other module. In this module, we're gonna discuss about the basic things about Android and its architecture and the components and life cycle and what is an APK and how does the APK looks when we uh, when we unpack it. So if you are a beginner, I would I recommend you to go to or like go through this uh, module very attentively because this is gonna be very useful because if you wanna do any security analysis on any uh, system you should understand basically how it works and what are the things we can look it for right so this model gives you all the basic information regarding that so if you are an android uh, developer or uh, android you know the security analyst right if you already know these uh, basic things you you are skip you can skip uh, and you can go ahead with the further modules but if you are a beginner please do uh, give attention very very attentively to this model right so our first topic is about android and its architecture so basically android is just a mobile operating system based on a modified version of linux kernel and other open source softwares right designed primarily for a touchscreen mobile devices such as smartphones and tablets it's nothing like you know whatever we use android it is, it is just a os like windows linux ubuntu mac os x or like whatever it is there. but particularly this android is built using linux kernel uh, if you come to that point linux kernel it is a very deep topic there are other open source softwares uh, based on linux kernel like kali you want to even OS X is also based on Linux kernel, right? So that is what the basic things about the Android. It, it is nothing but just an operating system, right? No need to worry so much of things about that. So without like, you know, let us see like what is the architecture and how it works technically, right? So this is the architecture diagram. You can see uh, where the first, where the bottom layer is a Linux kernel, and above that there are a platform libraries and Android runtime, and uh, it has uh, its own dependencies and application framework and application. So let us discuss each and every layer. And uh, I choose to go from uh, bottom hub, right? Let us go from bottom hub. So let us let us discuss about a Linux kernel first. So Linux kernel is the heart of Android architecture where it manages all the available drivers such as display drivers, camera drivers, audio driver, USB, Bluetooth, uh, like all kind of drivers which are required during a runtime. You can see right Linux kernel is, 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 is like it is uh, an abstraction layer we can say between the hardware components of an Android architecture and the another layers. Of the Android in the sense it gives a connectivity between the hardware things of an uh, mobile environment to the other up, uh, like application layers right and there are a lot of uh, you know features of Linux kernel it will help to keep uh, the security mechanism it will uh, uh, like you know it, it handles the security between the application and the system and it does help the in memory management for a developer to uh, multiple hats and also it creates a process management uh, inside the sandbox of each and applications and there are other important features like network stack and driver models right so this is a basic thing about a linux kernel in android architecture so let us see the next layer is a platform library so what is platform libraries like you know platform libraries uh, you know, includes a various uh, native library codes actually, uh, which which interconnects the hardware things to the programmatical things. In the sense, if you want me to see that, uh, like in a definition way, uh, the platform libraries includes various C, C++ core libraries and Java based libraries such as Media, Graphics, SQLite, Surface Manager, OpenGL library, uh, you know, many other things to provide a support to Android development. Because if you want to access the camera uh, using some camera application you need some library that native code to access the hardware right so those things will be available in the platform libraries uh, layer so that is the one of the important layer along with uh, like platform libraries table uh, like layer we have an other like embedded layer we call application 
runtime. So what is application runtime is in a sense, it is one of the most important uh, layer of an Android because it contains the core libraries and the Dalvik uh, VM. What is Dalvik VM in the sense, whenever uh, we uh, code Android uh, app, whatever the code we type in Android uh, or uh, whatever it is there, React or Flutter, it will be converted into text class. It will because the, the OS is not, is not able to understand your Java code. It will convert into text and whatever the text code will be, uh, you know, read by Dalvik in a sense, like it supports a Dalvik VM. So whatever that code is only understandable is a text classes. So that's why like Dalvik is very important during a runtime. And, uh, you know, uh, like basically it provides the base for an application framework, whatever you develop uh, using a React or whatever the packages you use, uh, it, it, uh, like, unlikely, and uh, powers our application with the help of core libraries, whatever we use. Like, uh, see, like if you want me to talk about Dalvik VM, uh, just like it is just like, you know, JVM, Java Virtual Machine, if you are, people are heard. Uh, so just like that, DVM is also a register based uh, virtual machine. As specially designed and optimized for Android to ensure that a device can run a multiple instance efficiently. So, and it, and it mainly depends on the layer of Linux kernel uh, for cutting uh, and a low level uh, like memory management, right? So this is the basic things about the, and like Dalvik VM and what, and you people got, I think, like what is, is like why the Android runtime layer is useful. It creates an environment for to run a text file, whatever that, uh, uh, you know, that formatted Android file is there. So, and the platform libraries gives the, uh, like, you know, native libraries which uh, interconnects the hardware components, right? And the next thing is, application framework right so if you can see application framework provides the important components uh, or classes we can tell uh, which will be used to create android application so uh, you know because suppose uh, if you want to access something from your uh, sqlite db you need you need some pointer right so that's why we use the content providers right we're gonna discuss about all the components things we have another topic where we're gonna uh, discuss deep into Android components. So if you if, if you want to tell more about the application framework, it provides a generic abstraction for hardware assets and also helps in managing the user interface, right? Uh, with application resources, whatever it is there here. So generally it provides a service with the help uh, of which we can create a particular class and make that class helpful for the application creation. So, and the classes are like activity manager, notification manager, package manager, service manager, and so on. So this is the other layer and the most, the top -ish layer is the application uh, layer. So coming to the application layer, it is a top layer of Android architecture, which contains the pre-installed applications like contacts, camera, gallery, and third-party applications, uh, which, which you can download from uh, Play Stores, right? So it runs, like whatever it is there, it runs with the help of the classes and services, uh, which are in the Android runtime. So this is about the Android architecture uh, and the, com um, like, uh, the layers of the Android architectures, right? So it has to go from, uh, suppose if you want to, if you want to access some uh, camera, uh, assume, okay, if I want to give an example, you have to open a camera application so when you open the camera app it will find for a respective uh, you know the application framework suppose the windows manager like it has to open one window and that windows manager will run in the dalvik and that dalvik whatever it is there it will uh, you know depend upon the media library as it is a camera application then that uh, library will invoke that camera driver so this is how it uh, generally works guys so See you again in the next uh, uh, topic where we're going to discuss more on Android uh, components and Android life cycle.